Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video we are going to look at this catapult mini from the company Through Night. Now Through Night's a company whose products I've come to greatly enjoy. I do have to say literally every single Through Night product that I've ever used I have thoroughly enjoyed. They're very well made, the functionality fantastic, great features and this little i mean and i mean microscopic almost thrower is extremely fun impressive lightweight compact i mean look at the size of this and this is something that i would say if you are in the market for a heavy duty throwing flashlight something with a nice long throw in a tight spot and just something to absolutely light things up this is the light for you. So this Catapult Mini, I have had the opportunity to bring on a deep wilderness backpacking trip. This is for me something that really fits a great niche for the backpacking application. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you probably realize that I do spend a lot of time in the wilderness, in the mountains, and to have something like this, that's this small, this compact, reasonably lightweight and the ability to really perform this is kind of a game changer so this catapult mini for me fits a really great spot in a lighting lineup and this has absolutely impressed me so what we're going to do is first when we come back i'm going to roll in all the footage from out in the field then we'll come back into the studio and i'm going to go through this in a little more detail now, with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Blue Knight who did provide this product for review. So I got some pretty nice distance here looking down this river. So off in the distance there, all the way along sort of the back wall of trees. I estimate that's probably, uh, I'd say 200 yards away. This seems about somewhere between 150 and 200. I'd say closer to 200. And another thing I'm picking up on right now, well, the Through Night Catapult Mini, as soon as I put it on the turbo mode, I can see it in the woods in still daylight, which is a good sign. So as I zoom in here, you can see, not super bright, but you can illuminate out into the trees. And as I mentioned, still plenty of daylight. So this catapult mini, I think this thing's gonna be a beast tonight. I'm looking forward to checking it out. So at this point, it is getting dark enough to start to see some of the beam shots. So here with the catapult mini, Gonna look upstream first, double click. Well here you can see good illumination well off into the distance. And as I zoom in, you can see a very tight defined hot spot. That is what you're gonna get with the Catapult Mini. Now there's not much in the way of flood. This is purely a throwing light. So very concentrated yet at the same time, it is quite even. So a very interesting beam and you can see all the way upstream those bright white birch there on the turbo mode now a single press does allow you to cycle through the modes so that is low medium high i'll come a little closer you can see over here low you can see it's not the brightest but you can see even with this amount of light long press medium long press high and just to demonstrate here, if you long press, well, that's going to go into that moonlight mode. And the interesting thing is, well, even in moonlight, if you look very careful, you can see on that log, even the moonlight mode has throw. It is quite interesting. So this is a cool little light. And finally, just to point out, if you triple press, 
that will be your tactical strobe. So beaming all the way out, you can see that strobe mode, very bright and concentrated beam. Actually, it's interesting when you see it like this, how concentrated that beam really is. But again, double press, you can actually almost see the entire beam just beaming off of the flashlight. It is very, very cool. Now getting that look downstream, we were looking at this earlier, roughly about 200 yards. Now real quick, double click, there's your turbo. You can see all the way to the end, just a little bit up into the trees, but again, it is still quite bright. It, it is nowhere near dark just yet and incredible illumination and so as you look at it here in proximity to the flashlight again you'll just see how tight and refined and compact that spot is so a very tight spotlight now at this point the flashlight is warming up just a little bit and as you look you can see my battery is starting to drain down just a little bit that indicator now is yellow now again looking upstream up this other little tributary this is actually one of few times when the camera's lighting things up better than my eyes. But here, double press, boom. Just that incredible tight beam lighting everything up nicely. Now that is the turbo. I'm going to turn that off and single press. Low, medium, high, low. So this is the low mode. Medium which is actually probably my favorite mode just for general navigation and high you can see between medium and high it's not an incredible difference so my personal opinion is keeping this in the medium mode now you get the benefit of literally long pressing the flashlight and that's going to get you into that moonlight mode single pressing and that's going to get you into that medium mode. And double pressing, boom. There is your turbo, just a significant beam of light. Look at the column coming off of this. It's fantastic. And one last time, triple press. There is your tactical strobe. Now, one thing worth mentioning is if you press this four times... It will blink and it is now in the locked out mode. So as I press this, the light will not turn on, which is nice, especially where I'm backpacking. I do not want this turning on accidentally in my pocket or in my backpack. So again, pressing it four times, now the light comes back on. So again, four times and the light will blink and it is now locked out. Now, one other thing worth mentioning, if you triple press and you're in the tactical strobe, you can long press and this will now do a beacon. Long press, SOS. Long press, back, and you are in that tactical strobe. So, nice functionality, very well done. This Catapult Mini is absolutely amazing. And so now it is a little bit darker. Long press here. This is the moonlight mode. So again, remember I said the interesting thing about moonlight is, well, it does project. That is very interesting. And I mean, for moonlight mode to even project that far, that is fairly incredible. Taking a look over here. I mean, it is barely enough light for it to do anything useful for me at that distance. But I guess in reality, I can see some detail. It is just that the beam is so tight that I have no spill at all. It is literally a direct spotlight just in a little, uh, maybe one foot diameter circle right there. Turning the light off now, single press. Here you'll see low, medium, high, low, medium, high. So again, the low mode, you will see that very defined hot spot now there is 
a little bit of flood and actually a decent amount of flood and the ability to see and navigate around but the hot spot is what really catches your attention and even the low the low going almost it does go all the way to the end I mean that 200 yards away that low mode you can still see which is fairly impressive now the low mode is going to be more than enough to see a lot of detail and there is yeah, now that I'm seeing it in the dark a decent amount of flood it is just I would say uh, with the spot being so bright you really don't pay so much attention to the flood but the flood is doing a nice job long press here's medium so good amount of light perfect for navigation no problem at all getting that beam shot way off into the distance here you can see starting to get that sort of lightsaber look very cool long press there's your high and you can see that very defined cone now the amazing thing look at the flood from dark to pretty light and pretty far out so the flood is doing a nice job to overall illuminate but again just a little bit overwhelmed by the spot now double press there's the turbo mode so lighting everything up this looks amazing I mean tons of light super bright that tight cone I mean look at this thing just a blinding amount of light very very nice absolutely incredible and now triple press well there's your tactical strobe long press that's your beacon and long press SOS those different modes working wonderfully and off so there you have it the through night catapult mini just so awesome and again I would like to say thank you very much to the people at through night for providing this for review I am very impressed and again I will back up by saying to have something with this kind of performance in this small form factor flashlights have come such a long way and so at this point let's look at this in a little more detail so you can see some of the finer features and the overall craftsmanship and so now getting into a little more detail here you see the box basically very straightforward comes with your usb type c charging cable under here your informational pamphlet as well as a lanyard and your spare o-rings that if you're like me you never use and at this point have a pretty good collection of spare o-rings but the other thing that this does come with which is actually kind of nice is well a spare usb type c cover so as we look at it here you will notice that on the back of the flashlight well here is your usb type c charging port and they actually provide you with an additional little rubber cover which this is the first time i've kind of seen that i do think that's kind of nice but it might be an indication that chances are if you're not careful you might lose this and if i pull on this well it does simply pop out now the good thing is i don't seem to have caused any damage and this should pop right back into place but as you can see here your usb type c adapter which is awesome so having that charging port as a usb type c through night's been doing this for a while and as i have mentioned for a while now i've pretty much at this point gotten rid of the bulk of my like micro usb connectors so now having the usb type c that's definitely a plus now in full disclosure i am gonna have to futz with this just a little bit to get that to pop in I'm sure I'll be able to do it, but in the interest of time, I will come back to that. So continuing to move through the features, well, here you can see there is your side switch, only a side switch on this. And I really, before I get too much further, really want to exemplify the form factor. So as you look here, very, very tight, easy to get on the button 
no problem at all but that just fitting completely within your hands so as you can see a massive lens and it's very interesting how this was done it's different than most other lenses I've seen so here really having everything focused right down and if I long press well there you're gonna see that is that moonlight mode but it gives you just a little bit of a look inside that reflector there with a little bit of light and very very cool so very neat and so just opening up the paperwork real quick i do want to report to you very accurately in terms of the overall lumen output and the run times so a long press here that is the firefly mode firefly mode is 0.5 lumens and 106 hours of run time turning the light off now a single press well, this goes through the three modes. So we're gonna start at the low mode. So low mode, 21 lumens, 12 hours of runtime. Now I do talk about the ability for a light that I intend on using for the backpacking application to be critical, to get you past seven hours into that eight hours or nine hour range for the ability to use this flashlight to self rescue with the ability now to go to 12 hours with substantial amount of light and my ability to reasonably navigate. I mean, it's only 21 lumens, but at the same time, because of how concentrated that light is, it does do a decent job illuminating and giving me at least the ability to navigate. So 21 lumens and 12 hours of runtime, that's absolutely sweet. But again, a long press, that is 96 lumens for the medium mode. This has four hours of runtime. Another long press, that's the high mode, 235 lumens. That is 80 minutes of runtime. And double press, 680 lumens for 70 minutes. Now, you may be saying to yourself, 680 lumens, whoop de doo Well, at the end of the day, this is all about candela. So this rings in at 89,600 candela. That is a 598 meter throw at the 680 lumens. So candela in essence is the amount of light at distance and how much punch you get out of it. And 89,600 is nothing to shake a stick at. Now, as we triple press, that is the strobe mode. So 680 lumens, 30 minutes of runtime. Again, long pressing once you're in that mode. Well, that is your beacon. Long press again. That is your SOS. Single press and it's off. Now, if I triple press again, that's going right back to that strobe mode. So it doesn't necessarily really like remember those specialty modes like it does in the other modes. Like for example, if I single press and let's just say I set this now to medium, it's gonna remember that if I turn the light off and back on, it will be in medium. So long press high, long press low. So this has at least a little bit of memory, but not necessarily when it gets into the specialty modes. Now overall, like all through night products, very nicely constructed. And you'll notice at this point, I did manage to pop that back in. No problem. Just needed just, you know, a little bit of spit lubrication. You can't put it in dry. You know what I'm saying? But at this point, everything back in operational. Now, as we get into this and unthreading the back, there is your gasket. You'll see the circuitry and removing the battery. This is a rechargeable 1100 milliamp hour 3.7 volt 18 350 battery so not an 18 650 but an 18 350 battery which this may be the first flashlight i've had with this exact battery type so kind of in between a cr123 and an 18 650 it's really finding that sweet spot between performance and compact carry and that in essence is what is giving this catapult mini the ability to be both a heavy duty throwing flashlight but compact at the same time now as i press the button here you'll see the little indicator that is blue i've pretty much been chowing through the battery on this and have not actually charged it back up again so my exact battery life, not too sure, but the indicator does say that blue is 21 to 100%. 
Purple is 11 to 20 percent. Red is 1 to 10 percent. And then basically, once the indicator's off, it's pretty much dead and you have to charge it. And so for me, this Catapult Mini, absolutely amazing. And I can say I definitely, definitely recommend it. So all right, guys, the Catapult Mini. Like I mentioned, a great flashlight. So if you're in the market for something like this, again, just nice, compact, fits in pretty much any bag. Whether you want to even EDC this, it is a fantastic option. Now, as I always mention, I am big time into performing inspections. Again, this is a game changer. It's something that I can always have with me. It's not taking up too much pocket real estate. I can throw it in a bag. I can throw it in a glove box. It's rechargeable, USB type C, an absolute hit. So through night, I think you nailed it. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.